in terms of the second line setting, we really hadn't shown any efficacy from any agents until the resource study. Um, and that was a randomised phase three study, um, with two to one randomisation of uh, regorafenib um, and that uh, versus serafinib. And regorafenib is a another tyrosine kinase inhibitor, and it's just it's very similar to, uh, to serafinib. In fact, it's just fluorinated. But that slight change um, gives it uh, some activity against VEGF receptor two, TIE two, and uh, FGF one uh, receptor one. So, um, so actually, it has slightly different uh, activities from serafinib, despite being quite related. And what they showed um, was that the survival was improved when you compared it with placebo. So it's about 10.6 months versus 7.8 months. Um, and the, uh, the response was actually quite modest. It's about 11% for regorafenib. But what, what actually seems quite interesting is this is a, a, a certain population. It, it, it really uh, picked patients who um, managed to tolerate serafinib and the side effects of serafinib. So um, the selection criteria was that they had to have progressed in serafinib but managed a sufficient dose, which they classified as over 400 milligrams um, in a day for 20 days out of the previous 28 in the course. So, so this is a select group. Um, and in that group, you know, um, as I said, the, the, these patients uh, tend to do well. They had similar um, adverse events to what you might expect on serafinib, 